My next patron question is from Hayden, who wants me to compare two computer animated films from the 2000s that were actually rather groundbreaking in many respects. Which is better, Robots or Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, for being very similar movies by two different animation studios? In regards to the similarities between the two, both films center on young inventors trying to make a name for themselves with their creations and long to help improve the lives of the other characters. Both films also pushed computer animation forward in how they tackle the visual look and the character designs. But which do I prefer? I really enjoyed the two of them, but I'm going to pick Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Serving as Phil Lord and Christopher Miller's feature directing debut, they found so many creative ways to utilize food in the story. Obviously the basis came from Judy and Ron Barrett's book, and Lord and Miller incorporated a lot of the inventive illustrations into the film's visuals. This is actually a really good adaptation, taking the concept of the book and expanding on it by adding some fun characters to interact with the food store. The filmmakers opted to bring a different approach to the movie's design than what people were accustomed to seeing in computer animation at the time, and especially allowed the wacky characters to move in classic and rubbery ways. The comedy moves very fast, and the movie is filled with all sorts of clever gags, and especially wordplay related to the food conjured up by Flint Lockwood's machine. This is the kind of movie that has our main character actually hum the musical score, which, by the way, wonderfully composed by Mark Mothersbaugh. Flint himself makes for an enjoyable lead, brilliantly voiced by Bill Hader, and I also really like the relationship between him and his father. The film is able to show how different they are and how they cope with their completely opposite interests. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is an animated film I find to be endlessly rewatchable, and any time I put it on, it just makes me happy and I smile all through the runtime. Robots is really creative too, I marked a major step forward for Blue Sky in many ways. Having proven they could handle the task of producing a feature film with Ice Age, the team there took the animation to the next level with their sophomore effort. A lot of credit not only goes to director Chris Wedge, but also William Joyce, who served as the principal designer for Robots. This is the first computer animated film I can recall where you could truly pinpoint an artist-specific style. Even if someone did not know Joyce by name, they might have sensed the creator of Roly Poly Oli or George Shrings was involved, depending on their familiarity with those properties. It's a gorgeous world, and the settings look incredible. Wedge and the Blue Sky folks crafted some impressive set pieces, including a sequence involving falling dominoes, and another where the lead protagonist is flung through the city. Speaking of our lead, I find Rodney Cobberbottom to be very likable, and his passion for inventing comes through nicely. I've noticed good-hearted characters like Rodney or Danny from Cats Don't Dance or Flick from A Bug's Life, tend to be considered boring, but I don't agree with that. We could use more leads in movies who are just decent and well-meaning. Where Robots also impresses me is in its use of social commentary. I mentioned before that the film appears to be an allegory for the Walt Disney Company abandoning the classic hand-drawn animation at the time and replacing it with newer computer animation, with the character of Big Weld representing Walt Disney and the villain Ratchet serving as the corporate mindset. And yes, I realize the irony of this, seeing as Robots is now owned by Disney. However, the film can also be interpreted as satirizing the way tech companies constantly feel the need to push new models in the marketplace, and labeling earlier models as obsolete. There's also a possible dig at the healthcare industry, as we see Rodney's father struggle to afford the things he needs to survive. On top of that is the way the movie shows lower income communities being pushed aside by the people in power. Wedge, Joyce, and the writers sure had a lot on their minds when putting this film together. But overall, Robots is a funny and creative film that still looks impressive 15 years later. Now let me know in the comments whether you prefer Cloudy with a Chance Meatballs or Robots, and thank you for your question, Hayden.